What's going on fellas? I've got a 2007 Buick Lucerne here. I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of some various fuses and relays for the operation of your power windows as well as your power locks. So everything for us to check is gonna be back here. You have to pull up the rear seat, which is pretty easy. You just slide your hand under the front and pop up. You'll have to do that on either side. Once you've got it popped up, the whole seat will just come right out and the seatbelt hardware will just you know, fall in through that hole. Now, next step is to remove this cover here. You uh, lift up on this latch right here and it will hinge back. Now the two relays, there is a, a lock relay and an unlock relay and they do exactly what the name implies. So this is gonna be your lock relay. That is your unlock relay. And the best bet for troubleshooting them, you can swap them. That's a great troubleshooting step. Um, feel free to swap in this one as well. Although keep in mind, this is your fuel pump relay. So don't do that if you know, you're concerned about the car not running afterwards. Now, as far as the fuses go, a lot going on. I'm gonna first talk about not a fuse, but a circuit breaker. So that one, this provides power for the, for the uh, windows to roll up and down. And the reason why they use a circuit breaker is they want to give the car an ability to, you know, take a rest for the windows, but then get it reset. And uh, no good way to test that without a voltmeter. Although I would recommend you could swap in one of these other ones as a troubleshooting step. These are for the power seats. Now, um, there's some modules involved. This is your passenger door module, basically the switch assembly. This fuse is for the driver's side door module. Another notable fuse is gonna be this one right here. That is for the body control module. And let's see here. There's also a 20 amp fuse. Two, three, four, five. Let's see, fuse 19. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Let me pause this real quick. Right, so the final fuse is gonna be this 20 amp fuse right here. This is actually what provides power used for locking and unlocking the doors. So this fuse sends power to these two relays right there. So yeah, I hope this info was helpful for you. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions. Uh, one other thing I can add, every time you open and close the door, you're flexing some wires in this area and they can wear out. So one thing I like to do before I start removing door panels and everything is I'll hold the switch in a certain position, open and close the door and see if it responds at a certain position. If it does, then, you know, I might pursue a wire. You know, I might suspect that a wire's, you know, making a bad connection in there. So yeah, thanks for watching.